God lives and works today. He is infinite in wisdom and power, and He created the whole universe. But our Lord in His omnipotence and splendor also has a longing. Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink will tell us what this longing is. If we love the Lord, our greatest joy will be to spend our time with Him. What a sorrow it must be for Jesus that He finds so few who devote time to Him. No matter how busy we are when visitors drop in, we usually find time to entertain them until they leave. But when Jesus knocks at our door asking for our love, do we devote our time to Him? Often the most we can set aside for Him is one half hour during the whole day. Many of us complain that we can't find time for quiet prayer because our days are so filled. Usually, we're not even aware that the real reason we find no time is simply because we have so little love for Jesus. Who is loved less and forgotten more than our Lord Jesus? It would be quite out of the question for us to forget a person whom we really love for an entire day, for us not to seek to fulfill all of his desires, a loving wife doesn't forget her husband, nor does she fail to devote her time to him and listen attentively to what he has to say. Yet we forget and ignore our God, our Creator, our Redeemer, whom we should love above all things. And most of the time we're not even ashamed or shocked over our indifference. In fact, we're not even aware that we've forgotten him. Though we call him Lord and Redeemer, he really doesn't exist for us anymore. How often we're insensitive to the suffering that our indifference causes Jesus. We live so detached from him that if we're interested in Jesus at all, it's only the Jesus of yesterday. We don't know the Jesus of today. But Jesus is alive today. Therefore he pleads for our time, our love, our attention and our companionship. The living Jesus has a right to expect and ask these things of us. A dead person no longer demands anything from us. A dead person will no longer disturb our daily routine. And a dead person can't love us. But Jesus isn't dead. And when we treat him as if he were dead, we grieve him to his very heart. On the other hand, if we are united with our living Lord, if we respond to his love, we bring comfort and joy to him. Jesus is standing at the door of your heart today. Won't you hear him and open your heart? He will answer and make your life full and rich, yes, richer than you've ever dreamed. Jesus, Lord, to love you only, I shall live. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.